Okay, here's the other, the other bridge I was telling you about a minute ago. Uh, I think I'm about at least halfway through the park, maybe three quarters, three fourths away. You can see all the different vegetation here. I have no idea what what I'm looking at here, but hopefully Jenny will be able to fill us in. Let me just take you across this little bridge here to give you a feel for what this place is like. And, and look how beautifully maintained this is. There are some old trees that came down a while ago. And uh, this, uh, I think there's a, if I'm not mistaken, there's a Olmsted Park Conservancy that takes care of this, of these parks and, and other things. But I think this is primarily their parks. Check this out. Look, look at the light in this place. Look at the light in this park here. And uh, they do they do an annual event, fundraising event that uh, looks pretty over the top. You can go to the um, look, uh, do a search for Olmstead Park Conservancy, and uh, and you'll find all that. But again, just when you consider where we are, just a couple, you know, a few miles outside of Atlanta, and we're just you know like a mile from d downtown Decatur. It's, it's pretty magnificent that this that this is still here. And Jenny, by the way, was part of a group of, I guess you could call them activists, preservationists. These trails up here take you to the upper part of the park and back through there uh, is some residential areas. This is, the, this is the Druid Hills residential. So I'm, I'm going to walk on the other side of the stream here. And uh, I'll tell you more about Jenny. In fact, actually, you'll have to come on the hike to learn more about Jenny, but she was instrumental in saving this park from the bulldozers. They wanted to build a freeway through here that was the extension of Freedom Park at one time. And she and a bunch of uh, amazing people stopped that from happening. 